Hello and welcome to another modeling video. We're going to be learning how to fill seam lines on this vintage kit BBSDVO from the Japanese historical story. More or less, uh, this is a very basic SD kit I found on eBay fairly cheaply. I believe it's actually quite rare and a lot more expensive than what I initially paid for it, but I find it to be quite ugly and has a very unique charm to it. Uh, the pieces have special uh, coating areas and also stickers which I'll be using but normally dislike to use, so it'll be a bit of an experiment for me. But the biggest part for us is filling the seam line, which will be on the feet here see the seam line around the actual piece. More or less as normal you trim the piece off the tree, remove the nub and glue the piece together using plastic cement. Uh, the idea with this technique or scale modeling you would like your particular piece or all parts of your kit to look like the one piece or how it's meant to. So having a gaping seam line around the piece is quite ugly and takes the attention away from the actual models. When snapping the piece together as in the video you'll either have excess plastic sticking out or a uh, crack. I'll be using Tamiya putty which is the technique I'm familiar with and baking soda and super glue which I'm new to. This will be my first time. This is the seam line that I'll be filling. Uh, foot number one more or less I try putting super glue down and mixing baking soda on top it instantly failed I got this uh, chip like shape and the second experiment was putting super glue on top of the baking soda which also failed I remember reading this technique a long time ago in the modeling magazine and it wasn't very clear on how to carry it out my last resort was putting the super glue onto the actual crack of the piece and sprinkling baking soda onto it. This proved to be very successful in hardening the super glue immediately, which allowed me to file it down flat. I will find this technique useful in substances or model surfaces that will not take uh, Tamiya putty really well, like uh, resin or metal or vinyl. Right now I'm filing the putty down flat, sorry, glue flat, and uh, right after that I'll be using wet sandpaper. I do this across the entire seam all around the actual piece. Like so. And this is the finished result. You can barely see that I even covered it. Might even be okay for snapping, not too sure. Now Tamiya Putty, a different technique altogether. This is what I use on all my models and very familiar. More or less you squeeze a little of this putty out and you plaster it across the seam all the way around and use a cotton bud to flatten it as much as you can. I may have explained before this is a solvent based putty and shrink so you try to put a little bit of an excess or otherwise it will sink into the crack and you'll have to putty it a second time after priming. This uh, technique is different from the super glue and baking soda as once you apply the putty it takes half an hour to an hour to dry sufficiently for you to start sanding with the super glue and baking soda you're able to start filing absolutely immediately the only disadvantage is I'm not too keen using super glue on articulated kits in case I squeeze or spill it and it falls into articulated places or places where it's going to be difficult or damage the model I suppose these are the separate pros and cons I recommend everybody trying both techniques of course you have to file and use wet sandpaper to get it flat and um, try it out yourself uh, this is the finished result of the two. I'm going to spray it with a little primer and you'll notice with the primer on you cannot see a seam line. I will paint this and show that it looks like absolute one piece. Uh, problem with filling seam lines, you sometimes have panel lines or detail in the area of the seam. Uh, you will have to re-detail, re-carve, re-cut with a knife. Uh, that's a little difficult but 
very important. You also have to be careful when filing not to file away detail. This is what a model looks like with all of its seam lines filled. You'll see grey marks and raised plastic all over the place that's filed down. Um, preparing to paint it. It's all propped. Now it's all primed and you'll notice when on display you'll not see a single seam on it. This is a seamless kit. Thank you very much for watching and until next time we're actually going to finish off this kit, detail paint him up and do a review. Catch you later.